Well, Dr. Libby Weaver joins us now to tell us all about her From Surviving to Thriving Australasian Tour. Now, this promises to share insights from her new book, Women's Wellness Wisdom. Thank you for being here, Dr. Libby. Thank you for having me, guys. It is just a pleasure to have you in the studio. Now, this is your ninth book. It is. Quite different to your last one, though, isn't it? Yes, it is, because I was so aware that at the end of the day, there are so many women who are so tired and they can really only devour small pieces of information. So I felt that if you got something meaningful at the end of the day that gave you a new idea about how to take even better care of yourself, it would be a lovely feeling to go to sleep so with. So you made a book with more pictures in it, which is <laughs> yeah. instantly wonderful to flick through and have a look and stop on a page and go, oh, that's me, I'm reading all about me. And there's worksheets, there's specific step-by-step -step guides, there's real-life examples in there, so you can work as you go through and develop a plan of action that, su that suits you. Okay, Dr Libby, who's going to pick out this book and get information out of it that they can use? I feel like it truly is what every woman needs to know. So I'm, I've worked with people now almost for 20 years one-on-one, -on -one, and when women walk through the door of my clinic or come to my weekends, they will genuinely share with me the challenges they face in coping with what their lives ask of them today. So that might be that uh, their progesterone has gone very low and progesterone is involved in fertility but it's also an anti-anxiety agent, it's an antidepressant, it's a diuretic so it has a lot of other effects on our body and when it's low particularly because we're so stressed that we can suffer immensely with that so Every woman needs to know that, including teenage girls, because if they grow up empowered with this information, they won't have to suffer in so the same way. If your progesterone is a bit low or it's a bit out of whack and mm. you're feeling all strange, what do you do? How do you fix it up? So progesterone will typically go low because we're churning out stress hormones. Humans have been on the planet for about 150,000 years, which is such an enormous amount of time. And the most recent sort of 20 years is like a drop in the ocean of that huge amount of time. And stress hormones, particularly adrenaline, has always communicated to our body Body that our life is in danger. The body doesn't want you to bring a baby into a world where it perceives you're not safe. So it thinks it's doing you a favour shutting down that progesterone. So dealing with the stress, which I know is easier said than done, but there are plenty of strategies now available to us. I think that is always the first step. Okay, so you've got the book and this Australasian tour. Yeah. I can see why people want to head along and have a look. Um, what happens in, on the tour? What do you do? So it's a joy to actually get on tour. The planning and the research that I've done to, to bring it to life has been pretty huge this year so uh, there's 30 towns and cities across New Zealand and Australia and uh, when I get when I get there one of my favorite things is to actually hear what people are experiencing and have them share their stories with me it's a joy to get out there and for people to say to me I started cooking from your cookbooks and 20 kilos fell off me and wow. I don't say that lightly because mm -hmm. that person made a massive commitment to take better care of themselves people show me photos of the baby that they've had that they couldn't conceive until they understood the inner workings of their body there's, there, I walk out of those places sometimes so touched and so moved because mm -hmm. these beautiful, precious people now have some the, the, even more skills to take better care of themselves. That so that's the joy. I want to just get back to stress for a moment because I think mm. this is something very interesting to a lot of people. What do you do to manage stress? Because even though you're Dr Libby, I'm sure you're under the <laughs> stress at times. <laughs> Shooting up books and <laughs> So the first thing I would say is I have a, a morning ritual that I don't compromise. So whether it's five minutes, 20 minutes or an hour, it's time for myself to do whatever I like. I also start the day with a green drink. I've done that for over a decade, so it's just ground up powdered vegetables, so the nutrition goes in. And the other part of that is I, I honestly feel like I have a really grateful heart. I feel like I deeply appreciate our freedom that we have that we have access to fresh food. I, I have a deep appreciation just for how extraordinary life is. So science has shown that when we're grateful, we can't be stressed. So I feel that those things stand me in pretty good stead. Okay, that sounds good. So we've got to be more grateful for things. That is mm. that is one takeaway from that, isn't well, it? I could listen to you for hours. Yeah. Oh, and that's wonderful. why she's going on tour, folks. You have to pay <laughs> for that. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Dr Libby. It's a pleasure. Thank you for being here. Dr Libby's From Surviving to Thriving Australasian Tour is currently underway and continues throughout September and October. And if you want to check out the details, go to Dr drlibby.com for all of the details and Dr Libby's book Women's Wellness Wisdom is also available right now and well worth a read.